Greetings and welcome to Let's Play Tex Murphy Under a Killing Moon. Ooh, scary. Uh, this is the first um, FMV title of Tex Murphy and I'm pretty looking forward to this. I did make a test one where I just examined a bit stuff on the office and I pretty much laughed my ass off. Yes, it's very funny. It's a good let's play if you don't have much to talk, but the game plays itself kind of, or makes itself funny. Um, I try not to talk too much during uh, talky sequences, unless there's a pause in the dialogue. I kind of want you guys to hear the dialogue more than my bubbling. <laughs> And yes, I can make comments after the dialogue. Who can be sure about this? Okay, I will now uh, play the intro, do my comedy stuff, and yes. Again, I have a walkthrough, like always. Um, according to the walkthrough, we are playing this game in six days, and I decided to make smaller parts. I have no idea how long this game is. The box was 9 pages long. It's the same as Martian Memorandum. This is more... Pff, the box was more... Sh not shorter, but more like get this, open this, get that. While Martian Memorandum was more texty. Like, oh, you have to do this and this and then you do this and that. And that. So I don't know if this one is actually longer. Huh? We will see. Okay? Well, let's go. Let's start the intro. So, they found it again, have they? I thought we'd taken care of it. The uh, forces of evil are persistent, sir. I'm oh, getting cool. too old for this. Who have we got lined up to deal with this problem? Uh, Murphy, sir. Oh, no, not Murphy. <laughs> Afraid so, sir. What about Spade or Marlow? Uh, dead, sir. Isn't there anyone else? Sorry, sir, he's next on the list. Well... I suppose we'll have to make do. Knowing Murphy, he's going to need help. A lot of help. <laughs> I'll check the archives and get back to you, sir. Aww, to Murphy. It's getting dispersed. What the hell? News, News of, of the day. day. As the Second World War enters its final days, Allied forces are on the march. The troops of the Western Alliance are occupied with the dangerous duty of ferreting out the remaining pockets of Nazi resistance. Hey, leave the me alone. The storming of Berlin has crushed up the German opposition and sent remnants of the Fuhrer's troops scurrying into the dark reaches of the Black Forest. I think the just the the Germans are bound to fight hey, to the last man in their quest for world domination. But their days are numbered, with Adolf Hitler dead and the once dreaded SS disbanded. The Allies have exposed the workings of the Nazi the war machine and found it better <laughs> in the Nazi Hitler death whose rituals and ceremonies are the machine and barbaric to the dialogue. Allied forces will not rest until the last cult member has been revealed and captured. Cult members? No pestilence has ever been so fatal or so hideous. Blood was its avatar and its seal. The redness and horror. Oh, of Edgar Allan Poe, you drama queen. I, I am playing Dex Murphy, or not Dracula's Nazi castle revenge of Hitler. Huh? What the hell? I found a swan. It looks stupid. Okay, that was a nice effect. I guess it's the killing moon. Can a moon kill people? Oh. Access software presents. Oh, under a killing moon. With Brian Keys, Margot Kidder, Russell Means, uh, Kevin Means. Hello, game. 
and the voice of James L. Jones. Hello. Executive producer Bruce Carver. Directed by Chris Jones. San Francisco, 2042 AD. I love the sex of In the moonlight, New San Francisco sparkles like a chunk of cubic zirconium, an island of hollow beauty surrounded by a red sea of radiation. <laughs> Five million souls drowning in gamma rays. Some lucky people have a natural immunity to genetic mutation caused by the radiation. I'm one of them. Most of them live in the new city, but I don't. I live among the unlucky souls. The mutants and the destitute and the wreckage of old San Francisco. Oh, joy, mutants. My name's Tex Murphy. I'm a private detective. Or at least I used to be. Since my marriage hit the rocks, I haven't done much of anything. I went out tonight for the first time in a week, but all I ended up doing was spending the last of my money on a bottle of cheap bourbon. Now it's past midnight, and I'm staring out of the window of my office on the second floor of the Ritz Hotel. Just like me, the Ritz used to be something. Now it's just another grimy building in a rundown part of town. And I'm almost out of bourbon. My God, Murphy, you look like hell. Really hit bottom, didn't you? <laughs> didn't I take like $125,000 for the last case? I remember something like that. Ooh, hello. World War IV. Oh, I usually don't look this bad. I forgot to take my Geritol this morning. So, you want a drink? I saved my first one to have with you. No, thanks. I've been dry for eight years now. Yeah, one morning I just looked in the mirror and decided I needed to make a few lifestyle changes. Quit smoking, quit drinking. Now I'm getting out of the business. Yep, I'm gonna move to the tropics and retire in a nice secluded island with a tribe of beautiful young women. Yeah, that's how I want to. You're getting out of the business? I guess that means the end of the world must be around the corner because you are the detective. I can't imagine you doing anything else, especially not running around an island with a bunch of nubile women in a loincloth. No, I, can't oh, I can imagine it. No, it's not. Oh. I've been thinking about it for years now. Yeah. You know how it is? Lonely. Underappreciated. Dangerous. I haven't had a decent night's sleep in 38 years. I tell you, I'm working on a case right now, and that's going to be my last one. Well, how about me? How about you, Tex? How's life treating you? Bad as it looks? <laughs> well, it depends. What day is it anyway today? Saturday? Well, Saturdays aren't too bad. It's normally Thursday by the time I get really suicidal. <laughs> so what is it you wanted? Just come by to sprinkle a little salt into the uh, open wounds of my pathetic life? No, 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 Tex, you got me all wrong. <laughs> no, just because you turned me in and got me suspended and humiliated me in front of my peers. You sold me out. But that's all in the past. See, of I course. quit hating you for that weeks ago. Eh, like I said, <laughs> I'll be leaving soon. And I didn't want to go with any loose ends dangling there to bother me in my golden years. <sighs> hey, don't worry about me. When you tossed me out of the agency, it was the best thing that ever happened. Digging through dumpsters and sleeping in abandoned speeders. You helped me learn a great lesson. Because no matter how bad things are, they can always get worse. So what happened to you? I heard you were doing pretty well there for a while. Did I help a job on that Martian memorandum case? What's your problem? You one of those people who can't live with success? Huh? Well, I can live with it. I'm just afraid of commitment. Now you tell me something. Why wouldn't you talk to me 15 years ago? I was a stupid kid back then. Could have tried to understand why I told the ethics board what I did. I mean, I understand now that I was out of line and I made a mistake, but why'd you cut me off like that? Because apparently you never learned the first rule of a P.I. And never, ever, betray your friends. Now, friendship goes beyond blood and race and politics. You've got to find out who your friends are, then you hold on to them. 
a precious commodity to people like me and you. Now listen. Before I go, I came here with a warning. I heard your name mentioned in connection with a case that I'm working on, and you stay out of it. If you don't, somebody's going to find you floating in the bay with a hole in your head. I don't need any more strain on my conscience. <laughs> you know, frankly, I'm pretty insulted. Because I'm a pretty damn good detective. And I can take care of myself, thank you. No! Oh! Yeah. Embarrassing. Just remember what I said, Tex. <laughs> Got no idea what kind of people we're dealing with here. Just keep out of my way. I'll send you a postcard. Oh, he sent you a postcard. That's nice. I like it. Not. Okay. <clears throat> now the game should actually start. Ah, <laughs> new game. Player name easy. We go with the way. Yes. So they found it. Oh. It was unnecessary to play, play intro. Yeah. I really like this music. Cuffing up flip day one. So last night, after 15 years, the colonel walks into my office. Made me take a good hard look at myself. Maybe I have hit bottom, and maybe I do look like hell. Lord knows the only exercise I've had lately is tipping the bottle and flipping cards into my hat. I gotta find some work. Contrary to what the Colonel might think, I'm as good a detective as he ever was. Now I just gotta prove it. I'm gonna scare up a job today, even if it means finding somebody's lost puppy. Ah, oh, puppy. I like puppies. What? Okay, like the... Last games, the controls are made in hell. We have two modes. Interactive mode, which we are now. We can look at things. This pure mountain spring water is indispensable, literally. I'm out of paper cups. <laughs> well, that's not going to work. <coughs> we can get things, we can move things open to our on off. No, the usual things. So, if we want to move, we hit the space bar. And you move by moving the mouse left and right. That's okay. Well, I can look with it. You move forward by moving the mouse forward. This is a bit awkward. And if you want to look up and down, you have to hit the up and down arrows. Yeah. It's not as bad as the confusing verbs in the last games. But I have the feeling I will get stuck a lot in this game, so I make sure that I save a lot. Tex really is... Uh, perhaps he is drunk, but he really, really plays like a drunk yet. Eh. Eh. Look down. Oof. Ah, look. Oh boy, mail. Oh, mail! Let's take it. What? Take the mail. Ah, okay, white... Okay, with the white mouse button I move through the... Verbs, and with the left I use it. Oh. Credit card application. Can I look at this? Examine. Ah. Pre-approved electronic shop credit card application addressed to the previous occupant. Just needs to be signed, stamped, and mailed. Hmm. Hmm. What's the sales plan? It was examined. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. the electronics shop will open its newly remodeled store and offer a very table for nuns of bar games. Dongles, fax machines, remote control toys, stereos, with phones, doohickeys, singers, watch mechelets and much much more. I'm sure to check out the unbelievable prices on your own line of dandy products. Remember to bring the electronics shop credit card and plan to stay alive. Stay late. Eight. Stay late. Yes, not alive. You won't believe the deals. Okay. One of each in stock. <laughs> the products, of course, are not on sale. 